Hey guys, so it's me, Kiani. Today's video is going to give you my in-depth tutorial on how to use color adjusters. Have you ever seen something like this and didn't quite know how to even start by using it? In this video, I will show you how I've actually chosen the color that I need for color adjusting and then how I've created a beautiful, flawless canvas using Ben Nye. So, if this is a look you're interested in, stay tuned and I'll show you how I create I want to actually start this look by using my Ben Nye Media Pro HD. This is the Concealer and Adjuster 18 color palette. And I'm actually going to move directly into this color right here, which is I believe the golden yellow. And if you watch any of my other previous videos, I always start by concealing around the eye area. What I've actually found by using this type of palette, it is a color corrector, but not too far, not too far right, too far left. It's definitely going to be in that yellow highlight that I really like. Um, something that a lot of us girls have seen on people like Kenya Moore, they use that amazing bright, bright highlight. So I'm giving you a little bit of an idea of my girls that are deeper complected in, in hue. Um, Halle Berry always keeps that really, really beautiful, soft airbrush look. This is actually how I started to accomplish that look. I'm actually going to go back on top and use a beautiful um, foundation base using Ben Nye products as well. And then I'm going to actually set it all with the powder. So let's actually start. I'm going to kind of rub this product in with my finger. I actually use this a lot. And those of you that are interested in using your sponges and things, they're amazing as well. But I think I tend to use a lot less product. And depending on what climate you, you're in, Warming your product up with your finger gives you a little bit um, more mobility with that. So I'm actually going to go back into this again. And you can already see how it's starting to conceal and give me that beautiful, beautiful yellow. If you're going to be using color correctors, stay in something that you're more comfortable with. Um, if you have more red undertones, you might actually like the orange, which is really, really good right now. If you have something that has more of a flat paler, you might actually like something that's more sheer, that's going to be closer to your complexion until you get used to working with a lot more of the um, colors. I'm actually planning on um, using this a lot more in my kit so I can hopefully record some more looks for you guys as I use these and kind of give you an idea of what color works best on each. But since I'm here in my studio today. I'm actually going to use the yellow. And all you're doing is applying this in the same place that you normally apply your concealer. This is going to give you a little bit extra coverage without feeling like you have a lot more product on. I'm actually going to use it right here on my chin. In the ever so popular down the bridge of the nose. See that? And of course, on this ever so popular forehead here, and just start that look. Next, I'm actually going to move into the Media Pro Select palette. This is the Olive Brown Sheer Foundations. And the color that I'm actually going to start with is going to be this Bamboo 4. This is closest to my complexion. But remember, I've already included an extremely yellow highlight. So now I actually want to kind of drop the color back more to my natural hue. I'm actually going to use a Sigma. This is a tapered Kabuki brush, a F86. And I'm actually just going to grab like so this product. And not really moving what I've already set, but I actually don't want the color to look as yellow. I actually want it just to give the illusion of brightness at this point. And you're just stenciling it in, so you're really not moving it, just stenciling it using just a gradual amount of product. Same thing on the other side. Now, some of you might ask, why don't you just use the bamboo? I've done that. It gives a beautiful glow to my skin, but the days that my, my allergies are really, really acting up and that I have a little bit more darkness, um, if I've been traveling and I have more pronounced dark circles, using the yellow and balancing it out with the sheer foundation is going to give you kind of the concealer foundation effect that you see on a lot of the videos. So that's actually something that you're going to use a lot less product because you get a lot more coverage using the color adjuster. So you see everywhere that I put that yellow, I'm just going back on top and basing it, um, bringing back in my natural complexion. 
remember these products are HD ready, which means they're made for photography, they're made for um, cinematography, videography. So, um, can you imagine how amazing your selfies will look? <laughs> I'm going to stop right there. Now, what I want to do is actually address the area that there's no product. I'm going to go right back in and go to my brulee. This is this shape right here. And I'm going to start kind of doing a contouring process. I'm going to grab that. One of my favorite, favorite techniques, product placement. You, can you see how that glow is coming to my skin? If you can't see it, I mean, it's so prominent. Just working on those temples. And for those of you that are wondering, I am actually using a Real Technique um, foundation brush or buffing brush. And I'm just going to kind of fade this in here. Can you see what's going on? Can you see what's happening? I haven't even contoured my nose. Let's go right back in, the same brulee shape, and let's work that round, right on the bridge of the nose here, on the sides of the nose. And why do I do that? Contouring out my nose gives my face a little bit more dimension. I have a very, very round face. By contouring it, it allows all the highlight, highlighted areas to appear um, closer. I almost give you kind of a beautiful 3D effect to the face. Alright, that'll do it. Very soft and subtle. And you know what? I'm just going to kind of drape that right along the eye area as well. Kind of create that contour effect here. Now, some of you can actually stop here. I tend to like a little bit more pronounced contour. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to go right back in using this shade right here. And this is my Senshin Medium. It's um, RHD 507. Don't worry, I'll use all the products and put those in the down bar. And I'm actually going to grab this same little tapered brush here and pronounce that, that area. Just subtle. I've actually used this technique several times in other videos. I will also leave those links in the down bar. Um, what happens when you're doing this type of look? By using the exact same product and formulas, it gives you a, a lot less or a lot more subtle of effect. And with all of these products being HD ready, you don't ever have to worry about the flashback. Um, been our products they are pretty creaseless um, which is amazing when you have a little bit more uh, mature skin I mean a girl's not in her 20s anymore but um, I get asked about my skin all the time what am I wearing and um, it feels good to say that I'm actually using one line and it doesn't look caked on it just looks very very natural so there we have it now we have to set all of this I'm actually going to grab my buff. This is the Ben Nye Luxury Powder in Buff. Gonna, and I have enough right here in my cap that I can just grab me a brush and set it. The trick to setting your concealer, when you go in with your brush and your Ben Nye powders, because they are so finely milled, you want to use a little bit and then continue to build up. Because remember, if you use the color corrector and you've used the um, green foundations, you've already created the outer appearance of what you want. All you're doing is setting it. You really shouldn't have to go back in with a different color to change it. By using something that's really, really um, transparent in hue, you're going to set that look without adding more color. 
if you've had problems in the past by using um, the banana powder, so to speak, make sure that you're balancing out the color appropriately. Banana is the one of the number one shades. However, there's so many more shades in the range. I will also drop in the down bar, the video showing you the different colors that I've received from Ben Nye, so you can kind of get a little bit better perspective on the different colors that they have. So just kind of keep that in mind as well. set this all I'm using this for is setting I'm not using it to to grab any more color and um, for a long time I use the fair but um, buff tends to be a little less opaque and it gives me a beautiful natural setting ability now did you notice what I just did I only use the buff in the area that I use the lighter shades. The places that I'm using the darker shades, I'm actually going to go in and use a darker powder to set that. So with that, I'm actually going to go in using my Doshe um, Benna powder. You can kind of see that it's a little bit different or deeper in hue. Just going to grab my big Sigma brush and just kind of contour out. Just steadily buffing back and forth on that darker area. And then setting right around the perimeter of my forehead. And dusting just a little bit here. Can you see that? Nice and subtle. Right. What I want to do is kind of give this area a little bit of a pop of color. I'm going to use my Meteor Pro Select Cream Blush Palette. And the shade that I have been loving, like absolutely loving, it's between these Island two. Coral, Godiva Blush. And, of course, I'm a finger girl. Look at how much pigment that is. I'm just kind of popping that right back here in the exterior part of my cheek here. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Just giving myself just a little pop of color. And then if I want, you kind of go back in. The shade that I have on my lips, I actually started with the Vivid Vamp. And then I finished the middle with the Shy Apricot. This also came from Ben Nye. It's a lip color palette in the Fashion Lip Color. Love these. They just give your lip a very, very nice wash of color and you can mix and match, which is something that us girls really love to do. So in case you guys were wondering, what, what I've lastly I'm done is pop just this little bit of color right here. And this is the ultra light. And I just grabbed that and just popped it right on the bridge of my nose. Now, those of us that like an extreme highlight on the bridge of our nose, this is just amazing because it just blends very, very nicely. Although everything is nice and set. You just kind of allow that to sit right there on the bridge. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And just kind of blend it out. Beautiful. And if you want to do a little bit on the keep it bow. Now would be the time to do that. Lastly, what I'm going to do is add a little bit of eyeliner. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of powder right on my eye to keep this look very very neutral and make sure that the liner bonds before I apply my lashes. This pencil makes a cat eye so easy. Can you see that tip? Can you see how sharp that tip is? So what I'm actually going to do is grab my mirror and catch just the external part of my eyelashes and allow that tip to flank upward and then I'm actually going to pop on some lashes and there you have it how I create a flawless finish using Ben Nye products especially those color correctors 
If you would like to see any of the videos in this series, make sure that you leave those videos in the down bar or those details in the down bar, and I'll be sure to get those out to you as soon as possible. Also, make sure you follow me at love underscore Kiani. You'll see who I am applying these tips and techniques to. Now, finally, it's time for my very, very quick close-up. Until next time, hugs and kisses. Thanks for watching. Bye.